Hi, I'm Comey Buano, station manager for ETV with another edition of Out and About Enfield. Yes, as we're all aware, winter is here, and with that being said, snowplow season is also here. Did you know that Public Works is responsible for plowing and treating 182 miles of road in 29 town and school buildings? The Highway Division is primarily responsible for snow and ice removal operations throughout town, but snow removal is definitely a team effort and all hands are on deck. In any given snowstorm, Public Works could be dispatching over 60 pieces of equipment and trucks. The Building and Grounds Division is responsible for snow and ice removal in the Thompsonville section. Better known as downtown, the roads are too narrow to maneuver large trucks. Building and Grounds equipment is more suitable to the task. So, in addition to doing snow and ice removal at all town schools and town facilities, they are major players in the snow and ice removal game. Personnel from refuse and resource management, water pollution control, and even fleet maintenance are all involved in the effort. The water pollution control staff has to clear out the wastewater treatment plant as well as 16 pump station locations. The town relies on private contractors to plow when significant snow falls in order to expedite snow removal operations. In advance of any significant winter storm event, the Public Works Department will post an on-street parking ban. These parking bans are necessary to help facilitate snow removal operations. Tune into the Town of Enfield website, Channel 3 and Channel 30, or on Radio WTIC 1080 AM for information on parking bans. Salt is the primary tool for treating the roads in ice control, along with liquid magnesium chloride, which includes a corrosion inhibitor to protect our equipment and the motoring public. Public Works is looking into the use of brine as a supplemental road treatment. Sand is only used to treat the roads during extreme conditions where ice melting chemicals alone won't work effectively. Last year was a tough year for cities and towns throughout the state due to a salt shortage. Enfield never ran out due to proper planning and guidance from the Public Works officials. The residents of Enfield were never in any jeopardy and the roads were kept safe with a little prudent planning. Keep in mind, every storm is different. It could be ice, snow, sleet, or rain, but it will not deter the task at hand for the Department of Public Works. Post-storm cleanups in Thompsonville include using a large snow blower which shoots the snow into dump trucks for removal to the transfer station and or Brainerd Park. This helps free up vital space for parking and emergency vehicles on the narrow streets of downtown. It's very important to help keep fire hydrants near your home clear, so if there's an emergency, the hydrant will be readily available to the fire department. It's also important to remind you folks to help keep catch basins in front of your house clear as well to help with drainage during snow events that turn rainy. With over 5,000 catch basins in town, it's sometimes a tall order for us to clear each of them after every storm. And remove your basketball hoops from the side of the road. They interfere with snow removal operations and can be easily damaged by our plows. And blowing, throwing, or plowing snow into public streets is not allowed. The town of Enfield has a sidewalk ordinance. Once the event is officially over, a sidewalk countdown timer clock starts on the town website. All sidewalks should be clear within 24 hours from the end of the event. Failure to clear your sidewalk can result in fines and penalties. Just so you know, in case of a blizzard, nor'easter, or other major weather event, the Public Works Department is here for you, and in other words, it's all hands on deck at once. So with that being said, let's all have a safe and happy winter, or in my words, let's have a mild one. Good luck and be safe. For Out and About Enfield, I'm Comey Buano. Be careful and stay warm. See you next time.